Hello friends, it's Sherry. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to share a new uh, item I have in my Etsy shop. So this is another junk journal kit. I did one and I said when it sold I would do another one. So here we go. <laughs> no, I really am excited to share these with you. Uh, I, I, I have so much fun. Just as kind of almost as much fun create as creating a journal as you're creating a junk journal kit right you're um not putting the things together as a journal but you're getting still items together that you would use right all the items i love right so uh anyway let's just get started with a little a look through uh, what i put together here and i'm going to tell you at the end of the video another idea i have for a junk journal kit so stay tuned for that but um, i'm going to start off i'll show you i uh, you know, a good way if you've never done a junk journal, or maybe uh, you do junk journals, but you've never done a ring bound, and you want to try one. Uh, they are, I think, they're really easy to to do to you know to create. So I am cre I am sending along. That's the binding I'm sending along, and of course you can use any binding you want. But uh, I'm sending along three of these little uh, notebook rings. You know, they just open up like this. Oops, they're new. They're a little stiff sometimes when they're new. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, see, they're they're very they're very strong. <laughs> so um, yeah, you just open them up like that, you know, and it's convenient to um, add and and uh, move pages around when you do a journal like that. So three of those. So you can use, like I said, in the last little flip through that I did, you can use two or or three. This is a bigger book that I'm including this time. So you probably want to use three, but um, they're one and a half inch, so you can really fill a lot of papers in this size. A lot of times I'll use a, the, I think, one and one quarter or something like that. And so, you know, the smaller they are, the less pages you can fit in. But anyway, these are these are a good size. They're kind of a good uh, mid-size, if you know what I mean. They're not too small. They're not too big. So um, let me see here. Oh, let me get something. Just one second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to change out the ribbon. I was uh, actually kind of working on, started to work on another one. And if you saw that light blue ribbon, uh, that was for the other one. So this one, and I needed a, a more a, a ribbon that matched this book cover that I'm including with this book, so or with this kit. So this black seam binding or bias tape, whatever, is uh, the one I'm including in this. And this is, uh, I'm trying to include the this type of thing for a, for a closure you can wrap around and tie a bow with this or you can you, you know use it for that or for tag toppers or whatever you want type of thing but this is uh the balance of one that i had in my stash that is black and this is one that opens up one time like this and i was saying last time you could actually iron this open you know like steam it or not steam it starch it a little bit and, and or or steam it if you use steam on your iron and get this to lay flat if you wanted a bigger ribbon like that I don't do that I just use it like it is usually but that's an idea okay on to the next thing <laughs> uh, I've got a button card here a very old one it says military buttons on this one so I thought when I, when I whenever I pick this one up at a thrift store all these things are original authentic from thrift stores that I've picked up through uh, the last you know couple years probably but um yeah this one said military buttons and i thought it was really cool because of that and it has some of the original buttons on there and some were used so the ones that say jacket were used these say fly these say trouser and these say shirt isn't that cool so that old button card here's a little uh, <laughs> as you can see tiny clothespin that i'm in, uh, including here is a pretty doily. It's a nubby one. You can cut it up or use it as a whole, but you know, handmade by someone. I got that one at, um, I got a bunch of these like this. I think these I got at an estate sale. This is a piece of one of my lace tablecloths. So I'm including this. You can, you know, cut this up and use it as, you know, a a page flip or you know on the cover or little pieces in clusters and this just comes something like this comes in really handy when you're you know having fun creating a journal and then I have an old black and white 
photo here. Let's see, it goes like this. It's a mom with a baby carriage. Can you see it right there? There's the baby carriage and there's the baby. And I guess this is the top of the baby carriage, like a little thing over the top to keep the sun off. <laughs> so very old fashioned there, right? Look at the big wheels down here or tires, whatever. So that is cool. And, and um, it has writing on the back too and the price that I paid for it. <laughs> uh, here's a little, some tickets. Those, those are always fun. Some playing cards. These are cool. This is um, this is one that's actually from uh, Virginia Slims. But it was said Virginia Slims, and that's uh, I don't know if they still make those. That's a cigarette, and it says on the back, "You've come a long way, baby." So <laughs> I thought those were cool. That was a commercial, I guess they had way back whenever those were popular on TV when you could have cigarette commercials on TV. And then here is a Cuddy Sark, the real McCoy, on this page, Scott's whiskey. And it has a cool the picture. All these have cool pictures on them. So I would, um, you know, I don't know. There's so, so many ideas you could do with those type of playing cards. And I've got three blank tags in here to decorate and do what you want with. But this is, you can see the different sizes here. These two are commercially made, but I did get them both at, you know, I didn't buy anything new here, I don't think, except for these tickets. These tickets are new. But um, this is handmade, and these two are from, from thrift stores. Oh, the glassing bags. I bought those new, too. Yeah, here's a glassing bag. <laughs> uh, and here are some old, you know, they're browning. They're kind of a little bit tattered here, but they're great to cut up and use in your whatever, or keep it as a whole, depending on how you want to use it. But it's an H green stamp page. Uh, I think I have four envelopes in here. So I've got a big red one. And those are nice, too, if you want to put it in the rings. You can, you know, put it up or down or in the middle, but put it somewhere where it's going to catch at least two of the rings if you want to put it as a, in a journal as one big envelope. And then I've got three envelope, three other size envelopes here and different papers. So this one's kind of browning and this one's kind of an onion, thick onion skinny type of paper feeling. And then this is a little kind of like coin envelope, but it is an old one that, you know, has some shading from uh, age on it and things like that. So very cool a do i have more than one I thought i had another one in here a journaling card here maybe i only had one so here's a journaling card cute one it's uh has tennis rackets on this side and then lines and little squares to write in on that side a guest check this is the, the card stucky type that have lines on both sides so those are nice a very old flash card some wallpaper. I used some of this wallpaper this week, and this was my scrap. And I thought I wanted—I was going to put it away in my stash. And I thought, well, I'll just include it with this kit. That would be nice to have some wallpaper. And who doesn't love working with a little bit of wallpaper, right? I—I I love it. And so I thought everybody else would too. <laughs> I put things in here that I would love working with. You know what I mean? So here's a couple of postcards. This is uh, not writing on the back on this one. They're both vintage. You can see kind of like this, you know, the age on the back of that one. And this one too. Uh, and it tells, here's some things you can read here on the front. And this one is used, has a couple of old postage stamps. And, can, and actually these are look like they're from another country. I don't know. This says Greece over here. So maybe they're from Greece. I'm not sure. But isn't that cool? Okay. Now, uh, oh, here's a piece of trim. That you can put alongside a page or wherever you want but there's a it's a vintage piece of trim and then here let me show you the book and then i'll show you the pages so this is a it's a book cover again uh did I, was it a book cover last time yeah it was a book cover and so this is a dictionary book cover very old uh, i don't think i don't think i have the title you know the copyright here but this is how it came to me but except it had the pages in it and i took the pages out <laughs> But it has like an embossed, I hope you can see it on, a video, on the video, but it's embossed right here, like a square or rectangle right here of embossed. It's a pretty color, this burgundy, and it has a tree right here, embossed tree with a circle around it. It says WP, and it is a Webster's New World, old Webster's New World Dictionary. Here's the spine as it is. So it's, um, like I said, this is the way I got it. So it's attached here. Like if you didn't want to detach the spine and you wanted to make this into a journal, 
and sew them into the spine. You probably could still do that. Uh, I guess this tape was on here when I got it, so I don't know. Let's see. I guess it's probably... I don't know. I guess it's maybe coming apart there, but you can, of course... Um, fix that and maybe put a little something you can cover the whole spine or put a little something on the edges you know type of thing there's lots of different things you can do but uh, that you know it looks like it's together from here down I just don't want to take the tape off and it's really actually hard to tell in here but I'm assuming since there's tape on there that it's separated but anyway you can see the old paper in here I didn't this is like I said I just um, the pages were in here and so I just clipped them out there's still some strings in here and things so you know uh, very old very old dictionary cover so that's the book cover I'm including with this one and then here are was um, what I was doing is somebody had bought one of my listings for a dictionary I have a listing for dictionary pages and they're all sizes so as I was going through the dictionary pages I took out some for this journal. I thought that would be cool to have dictionary pages for a dictionary cover di journal, right? And then you can add your other others. And so uh, in here, let me just flip through and show you what I have. So like here's, these are, you know, very, you know, the feeling if you've ever felt old pages or they're kind of soft sometimes. So all these are very old. Some of them from the early Probably most of them from the early 1900s, and I don't know if we're any of them were from the 1800s or not. They probably, probably a couple of these are. So this is how they came out of the book. You know, I didn't tear these out or anything, but this is kind of how they came out. So I, I always take the pages out as best I can to keep them, you know, preserved. So this is that some some end pages, and they're kind of that soft old paper. And then, then some of the dictionary inside pages are more uh, thin. So this is not super thin, but it's not, you know, thick or anything. But here's, um, it might be from this right here. Let me see. Uh, if I see the copyright, this doesn't have the copyright in, but this might be. It does say, yeah, yeah, this is probably from this book right here. And it's this right size. So, because <laughs> I have, I think I had a couple of this size, but I think this these pages are from this book. So, um, let's see, of the American language. Let me see if this was... Yeah, this is from this book too. Okay, yeah, I just, what I sell in my listing for dictionary pages is the actual dictionary pages with, you know, the word and the definitions. So I took these out as pages that people wouldn't want in that listing because they want the actual pages. So these were the title pages and things like that that I put in this stack. There's other things here too, but you'll see that in a second. So this should have the copyright on it here somewhere from this, this cover. Uh, let's see, 1952, looks like the most recent date, 1952, yeah, okay, so this is 1952, so here's some of the, like, the, I showed you those, uh, here's another title page with the copyright, some contents pages, so these were the first pages in this book, see how they don't have words or definitions, and so I took them out as pages that would be in my dictionary page listing and but they would be great for I, I mean I actually put them aside because I thought I thought well people aren't going to want these I'll use these in my journals and then I thought of you you know making this kit so here's that old um, math some of these are a little grungy and they might have a little writing or they might have a tear but um, that's the fun of you know recycling things like this is you can cut them up and do what you want like this one has a little tear right here you can see the holes. A lot of these old books are are sewn in with this thick string. So that string leaves those holes. You know what I mean? So here's a hymn book page. See, this one's a little grungy. has a little something there. But we like that. If you want to make a grungy journal, this would be perfect for that. Here's a little. This is from the book. I didn't do that. <laughs> this one has some writing in pencil. This is just a book page from an old book. And then let me let me get a group here. Let's see. I think this is from all the same book. Uh, it looks like different font. Then oh, it might be the same one. No, I don't know. But anyway, it has some penciled writing there. These old books. I don't know, people, you know, people used them. Uh, there's some pictures in here that can be cut out or use the pages as a whole. So you're a little tattered there on this page. Another picture. This one is from a different book. See the different fonts. 
and then there's different colors and things of the aged uh, pages. So this looks like, uh, I'll try to tell you what kind of book it is if I can tell. <laughs> some of them are like for, about history, some of them are about math, some of them are just stories. Here's a little, this one might have been history type. There's a little tear right here, but look at that gorgeous picture and the colors. Okay, here's another um, with that kind of coloring. See, I, I, I left this in because you can see it has writing all over this side, maybe in crayon. But look at the picture you can cut out on this side and glue that down so it doesn't matter about the writing, right? You're going to cut this out <laughs> and use it somewhere. So here's another one. See, these were together, so I left them together, but this is how they were in the book. It wasn't a whole page here. I didn't. I don't think I cut anything off there. I think it was like that, and they just wrapped it around and sewed it into the book. So I left it just like how it came out of the book, but another beautiful picture. You can see the age and a little bit of grunge here and there. <laughs> but, you know, we love that. Let's see, is this one page? or I thought it was two pages. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, this is how this page was in the book. It's only one page, but it was wrapped around and sewn in like that. Okay, so I just left it. This one, um, this might have been, I wonder if this was under there. I'm not sure, let's see. 102, no, that's 107, anyway. Another cute picture with that nice font. This might have been, I don't know, talking about the leaves and things, but it uh, might have been kind of a storybook. And here's some more of that same, this same book, I think. Cute pictures. There's a little bit of, look like a little, it looks like some crayon right there, maybe. But you can fix things up like that. Like, say, you could either, either leave it like that, or if you cut this out and glue it down somewhere, you could put a little piece of doily there or something, you know, a little piece of lace. A word something you know depend you know just use your imagination go with the flow uh, dictionary this is from a dictionary page a smaller dictionary rules for punctuation and here's some more of those pages like I pulled out from the dictionary bundles that people are not going to want over there but over here in a junk journal kit we like them um, the contents the preface the um, here's this isn't this beautiful cover page here yeah, this is a beautiful dictionary. 1925 on these few pages right here that were from the little di smaller dictionary. These three right here, 1925 pages. This is from another little dictionary I had. You see how they're getting smaller? <laughs> That's how my dictionary pages are. I have all different sizes. It's a really a fun bundle if you need dictionary pages. But this is another couple of pages from the, a smaller one. Some of the front, you know, starting pages. And this too, a different look at the size on this one. I love this one. It's, it's, it's small and narrow and tall and narrow. Tall and narrow but small. Uh, pocket Dictionary. Uh, Webster. I'm trying to see if there's a date on here. No, no date on this one. But it was an old one. You can see it's browning and things like that. So that's everything in there. Um, I'm trying to, I'm thinking I'm trying to keep this under one pound, like under 16 ounces. And this one, I weighed it right now. So without the packaging, it was 15.8. So I can, if I can keep it with the packaging, once I you know, put it in something and put it in an envelope, uh, if it's under a pound, I think it's, you know, you don't have to go priority mail. You can go first class mail. So uh, that's why I thought, you know, as I was doing this this morning, because I actually had one more thing in here and it put it like up to, um, it might have been one and a half pounds. You know, it's like, you know, if I take that one thing out, what will it be? And I weighed it and I was like, wow, it's under a pound. So that saves people a lot of money. They don't have to go to up to um, priority mail. You can actually, I believe, stay uh, um, within first class mail. So, yeah, this weighs under a pound. So it was close, but it's still under. And I think I can probably do it because my, my envelopes are, are, uh, are pretty. Uh, and actually, I could put it all in here, couldn't I? I could actually put it all in here and tie it up and it would be protected but I need to make it flat so I don't know if that would work I'll work it out when I put it in the package but um, I'm going to try to keep it under a pound 
and try to keep these kits under a pound. So that saves you money, right? So uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, other idea, it was uh, I'll list this one and then uh, I want to do some more. But I also thought it would be fun to have like a mystery journal kit listing. Would, would that be fun? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. So you wouldn't know. I mean, like it would be similar to this, but no two are going to be the same. And of course, I don't have, you know, 10 of these. So the book is going to be different. So, you know, I if you watch my videos, especially my Thrifty Thursday videos, you see I have all types of books. So... Um, you know, and if the book has book pages in it, which could be very possible, very possible, it would weigh more than a pound, probably. But, uh, so, I'll have to consider that in that mystery junk journal kit listing. But, um, let me know what you think about that, because you wouldn't know what book you're getting. You would, it could be a little golden book. It could be, um, you know, an old, just another old book that I have, or some kind of children's story book. I have a lot of children's books. And so let me let me know what you think. Uh, if I get, you know, I might I might probably go ahead and try it and just see how it goes. But uh, I thought that would be fun, you know. So <laughs> thanks for watching today and uh, listening to my idea. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a great weekend, everyone. Take care. Be careful out there. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Happy crafting.